We start off today's adventure just before the sunrise, in hopes of witnessing something incredible. I have not been a fan of adventures around Florida. At least that's what I have felt since moving here. But I want to change that. So here's to a new day in the state I call home. This morning started off fantastic. It was awesome to see the baby sea turtles. I'm gonna try again also tomorrow after our overnight, but we're gonna make our way up and down the coast and just have a good time and relax and take in the beautiful beaches. Look at the sunrise, just gorgeous. I think I've spent a lot of time focusing on what I've been missing. So much so that I miss the opportunities in front of me. Like, did you know there are beaches in Florida you can literally drive on? I mean, isn't that view incredible? Yeah, I think I can get used to this. This campsite is actually beautiful. Um, I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like, but you can see we got the ocean right behind me and uh, I'm gonna make some food cause I'm starving. And then we're gonna explore a little bit. Just finished up lunch, feeling really good. I'm gonna go explore a couple of the beaches in the area and maybe play in the water a little bit just because it is 96 today, so it's gonna be really rough. But I have camp for the most part set up. When I get back, that's probably when I'll set up the tent. But let's go look at this beautiful place.
Okay, it is about the hottest part of the day. I'm going to go in the water and take my camera out there and play in the tide pool over here just to cool off and maybe we'll see some stuff. There's potentially some rays in there and some sea turtles. I don't know what I'm gonna see, but I just wanna play in the water. That had to be one of the most refreshing swims I've ever had. It made this 96 degree day bearable. The water was perfect temperature. It was just super refreshing. And I don't know if I got it, but a manatee swam right in front of me. The water conditions are not clear at all. But now it's time to head back to camp, change out of these wet clothes and uh, start prepping for dinner. Just finished dinner. It is an amazing view at camp. The sun is setting right over here. Um, I'm going to start winding down though because I'm gonna try and get up before the sunrise, see if we can find some sea turtles in the morning. Um, this campground though is really beautiful. I'm really happy with it. It's pretty popular, which is not my ideal camping situation. I like to get away from people, but the fact that I have the ocean right here and uh, it's so close to where sea turtles nest and stuff like that, it just works out great. So I'm gonna start winding down and uh, hopefully we get some beautiful stuff tomorrow. currently 5 a.m. I am tired. It was just really hot last night, but we're gonna wake up, head to the beach, and try and find some sea turtles. Oh my god. With the moon having set, it is almost impossible to see the turtles on the beach. But even this blurry footage is incredible. I think about just how far this turtle has traveled. She most likely is older than I am, and every year she crosses a vast ocean to lay her eggs on this beach. Getting up early has already paid off. Um, seen C3, C oh my god, 
I've seen three sea turtles already. Um, I'm using red lights right now. That's because it'll preserve my night vision, it'll preserve their night vision. This is actually probably a little too bright for uh, them. There we go. Um, but yeah, gonna keep uh, cruising around and see if we see more and just enjoy uh, everything going on. As the sun begins to rise, the turtles make their way back out to sea, and conservationists cruise up along the beach to section off their nests. So this beach is really special. This is the first beach me and Chelsea visited when we moved to Florida. And I remember us just sitting here listening to the waves crash as the sun set here. And it's just really fun. So I think it's gonna be a great place to take out the paddleboard and get out in the water. If you made it this far in the video, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for watching it. What I wanted to have as the story and finish up on this video got cut short. The statement I made at the beginning, I haven't fallen in love with camping and adventures in Florida. I tried. I really, really tried. This is like a disclaimer of something really, really gross. Cut away if you uh, are squeamish with bug stuff. Um, but I got decimated on this trip. I'm about to show you guys just how bad. So I basically have all these welts across my arms, my back, my stomach, my legs. Um, it's like a biting minge or referred to as no seams. They're all across the beaches here in Florida. They thrive here year round. And I just was woefully unprepared and it made it unbearable. I mean like, agonizing like discomfort a lot went into this chelsea also helped me film some parts of this video and she got destroyed i hope you know there's a lot that goes into these videos and i hope you really enjoy them but as for adventures in florida i am going to have to try again because this did not sell me and these places are beautiful i did have fun while i was out there and i'm going to look at solutions for this but these are worse than mosquitoes because they slice in and release a venom into your skin and that's what causes the itchy and the bumps and just ugh. but thank you guys for watching <laughs> i hope we get more videos coming out soon and uh we'll see you soon bye